That's right. The, under the actions of a quick thinking dispatcher, they were directed to drive here to the police station. And when they got here, officers were ready and waiting for those suspects. It was just after 1.30 Monday morning when Harper Woods Dispatch got the 911 call. Two people saying they had just escaped an attempted carjacking. Investigators say the victims were driving on Gratiot near 8 Mile when a man approached them with an assault rifle and demanded their vehicle. When the victims refused, both were shot. Somehow they were able to get away, but the suspects didn't leave it at that. They continued to follow them, driving down 8 Mile. Now being directed by the dispatcher, the victims drove to Harper Woods Police Department, and when they got to the station, officers were waiting. The victims pulled into the rear of the station, still being chased, but when the suspects realized what was going on, they tried to make a break. That's when police stopped their vehicle on Harper Street in front of the station. The driver was taken into custody. In his car, an AR-15 and a 100-round drum magazine. The passenger ran off, but was picked up about a mile away on Beaconsfield near Woodmont. And it turns out that the vehicle those suspects were driving had actually been stolen from an earlier carjacking that happened near Wayne State University. Now, even though the chase ended here in Harper Woods, the case has been handed over to Detroit police because that is where this all initially started. From Harper Woods, Smitha Koloki, 7 Action News.